Hi everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you are well. I am good. I'm good. We have a surprise press conference on Saturday. So weekend plans canceled. I get to go talk to Chris Kleiman and Avery Johnson, some other players, as Kansas State wraps up its spring practices. And why on Saturday? I'll explain in a second. First, remember, please follow this YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. All that is such good stuff for us. Thank you very much. Make sure you're following the Big 12 Insiders. We had a really good show on Friday with my buddy Chris Hummer, who covers a transfer portal for 24-7, and that rolls right into this daily delivery. The transfer portal opens Tuesday, and that kind of escaped people at first, and K-State had scheduled its spring wrap-up press conference for Tuesday, and it was decided that's a bad idea. Uh, Casey doesn't expect much, much action in the portal, they, at least outgoing, but it wouldn't be a surprise if you saw it coming. So you just never know. This transfer portal has been rumored to be utter chaos, and Mr. Hummer said he doesn't expect it to be much different than normal, which is moderate chaos. So we'll see how it all shakes out. But K-State does wrap up their spring practices. They're on the field stuff today in the practice facility as They've gotten through their 15 practices as of this afternoon, and that wraps up spring practice. I'm told they got out of it without any major injuries, without anything that is going to linger into the fall, just a lot of beaten up bodies from having some collisions, and now it's time to get healthy for the season. But they came out of this spring feeling good, looking good, and very optimistic. Now, I have a lot of people ask me, what position group am I most excited to see in the fall? And of course, the answer is quarterback for most people. But I'm going to throw this one in there. Defensive end. Kansas State right now has a just a plethora of great young talent at defensive end. And not the typical K-State defensive end that might be a little undersized and outworks everyone else. They got some dudes. Some dudes that look like power five defensive ends that could play anywhere. And it's going to be a really exciting addition to the defense. And because they have so many defensive ends, they've designed a new defense that on occasion they'll deploy with has three defensive ends on the field with a D tackle, but it's not four men down. It's not a four man front. That extra D end is a stand up position as a rush end. It's just going to be fun to watch. And it's going to be fun to see how this offense goes under Avery Johnson in the fall. But today is what they called the spring game and it's just another recruiting event and I'll say this about K-State's recruiting efforts they have made the most of the spring they have brought in a lot of kids to see K-State and watch practice and I think it's going to pay off in the recruiting front this fall we'll see how everything shakes out but if you like spring football I'm sorry it's over it's done uh, but this was a very strong spring session for Kansas State, setting up what is a very hopeful fall for the Wildcats. And remember, we're sponsored by Mailreg Golf Clothing. Make sure you go check out the link in the story. 10% off with that Life of Fits code. A lot of people have tried it out and are blown away by the quality compared to the price. Go check it out. I love my stuff. Thanks for listening to the DD. I'll be back tomorrow with a... Diddy probably on Avery Johnson since I get to talk to him for the first time all spring on Saturday.